When someone with an insurance policy makes a false claim or assists someone in making a false claim, that person may be arrested or investigated by the police for insurance fraud. Most insurance fraud happens when someone in a vehicle gets into a car accident and doesn't have car insurance. That person then purchases car insurance and later makes a claim that they had insurance at the time of the accident when they actually didn't. Or sometimes a person experiences theft or damages in their home, but didn't have any renters or homeowner insurance at the time. The homeowner or the renter then purchases the insurance after the damage is done to make it look like they were covered at the time of the incident. There is also insurance fraud for benefits like workers' compensation or health care. After the year 2020 and COVID, many people applied for unemployment benefits and received those benefits fraudulently, either because they were employed at the time or because they lied on their application. Insurance fraud can also be found when someone lies on their application to get a better quote or to get benefits, or if someone makes multiple claims for the same loss, or if someone presents false information to support a claim, or when someone aids a person to commit the fraud. Insurance fraud in California generally falls under Penal Code 550, and depending on the allegations against you, you may be arrested or investigated for different subsections of this penal code. Insurance fraud can be charged both as a misdemeanor or a felony in California, depending on the type of fraud and the amount in the claim. For felonies, the sentence can be anywhere between two to five years in jail or prison, along with fines and restitution, which essentially means money owed to any victims. A misdemeanor can be up to one year in jail or prison, including the same fines and restitution. The sentence can be even longer if enhancements like prior insurance fraud convictions or if a victim suffers serious bodily injury. Some of the defenses to insurance fraud include being falsely accused because you did not lie or attempt to defraud a claim. You did not act knowingly. In other words, you actually believe what you put on your application or in the claim was true, or that you acted under duress and someone threatened you to commit the fraud against your will. If you or a loved one are being investigated for this type of a crime, the best thing you can do is contact a criminal defense attorney and discuss how you can protect yourself from a harsh sentence that involves prison or jail. If you have questions about the facts in your specific case and whether or not you actually have a defense, please give us a call to get an evaluation from an experienced attorney. Thanks for listening.